Well now, Mr. Franklin. Oh. Here we are. Who the hell are you? Where am I? Who am I? I don't think you would recognize my name if I told you. Or my face. Even though I worked at your nasty little factory for over 30 years. Right up till you closed it last month. And we were all out of a job. And where are you? You don't recognize the basement of your old factory? But then you never much left your posh office on the top floor, did you? And I suppose it is a bit grubby down here. What do you want from me? What do I want? Well, Mr. Franklin, what I want is to talk to you about some things that you did. And then... Just one bullet. Give you a chance, eh? My brother worked here, Mr. Franklin. Well, you always called it a family business. You had to bribe your way out of being prosecuted for that accident, didn't you? Lived for a couple of weeks after it, but now he's dead. So this is for my brother, Mr. Franklin. Hmm, that was number one. Who next? My wife, my darling wife. Expecting our first child. But of course those chemicals wouldn't hurt anyone, would they, Mr. Franklin? She died just before the baby would have been born. So this is for her. Number two. And this for the baby. Number three. I had two good friends that worked here too. Nicest guys you could hope to meet. Knew them since I was a kid. They really shouldn't have been made to work in that dangerous old piece of plant, should they, Mr. Franklin? So this is for Nick. And this for Tom. And that, I think, makes five. Just one chamber left, eh? So that's all my family and friends gone. I know that you've got family, Mr. Franklin. They say your sons are going to take over running of your new factory in China. Won't have to worry much about your workers there, eh? And you may even have some friends. But I haven't. You've completely destroyed my life. Now you listen to me. No, you listen to me, Mr. Franklin. You were in charge once. But not any more. There's been a revolution. So, the last chamber is for me.